Hello, good people. It's Rob Lee. A brother came to the channel a couple days ago, and he made the comment that he was concerned that we were blanket hating, that we were hating all people uh, for just the, the the crimes and the evil of a few. And he was talking about Jewish people. And I thought about it. And another sister sent me a text message and told me that it was bigger than Israel that had to do with the Queen of England, the Tavistock Institute. Let me explain something to you here, man. So I'm going to do this just once. You either believe the Father's word or you don't. Genesis 3.14 and 3.15 says that the Almighty Father would put, would put hatred, enmity, hatred between his children and the children of the serpent. This is the Father's words, all right? So I'm going to do this one time. I'm going to make a statement because my father wishes me to do so. I do it as a testimony before my father. I've told you before that our every word is recorded. So I'm, I'm well aware that very few people will hear this because I am censored like no other. But what's important is that I do it in the name of Jesus Christ and my words will be recorded in front of my father who is in heaven and for those who do hear it, it'll clear up any misconceptions about who I am and what I believe and what the majority of the people on my channel believe. It's a very small channel, but it's a channel of, for the most part, ardent believers in Jesus Christ. The devil and his followers have tried to label me as hate-filled, and this is done to folks who expose evil and shine light on hypocrisy and crimes against the world. The truth is, I do not hate. I very much love. I love the young, I love the animals, and I love the tender-hearted. So let me get right to it. I do not believe that every Jew is out to get me. I don't believe that every person who calls themselves Jews is in a mass conspiracy to take over the world. No, I don't believe that horseshit. Jews are like many other religions. People wear the title as a badge, and they have no clue as to what is behind it. And many folks who call themselves Jews do not come do not come from the ancient DNA of that people. They've simply joined this movement because they feel like they belong there. However, these same people would never see the truth. They are blinded and they will side with those who are out to hurt me and true Israel. Only the Father can open up their eyes. I've been incredibly hard on Judeo Christians. However, I do not believe that every one of them is my enemy. I do know they are following the hexagram. This is Amos 5 and Acts 7 and not Jesus the Christ. Again, they would turn on me for knowing my father's word between the difference between my father's family and a family of imposters. I have no control over them being brought to the truth and I do not hate them. Some of them will be called out of Babylon. Many of them, most of them will not. On my previous channel, I made about 50 videos exposing the religion of Islam. Yet I ask you folks, why would I hate some Muslim living in some little bitty mountain village in Afghanistan? He's barely surviving. He does not know who I am. He's not out to hurt me. Why would I hate him? However, I would be a liar if I did not acknowledge that Muslims and their faith have invaded Western culture countries, and many of them are violent and arrogant like we've never seen. I do not hate them. I'll protect when, when the time comes. Our Father will judge and set right, not me. So if a Jew in Palestine, a Muslim in Yemen, a Buddhist in China, or an atheist in America, or any color, creed, race, or nationality on this earth is not bothering me, they wish me, my family, no ill or trouble, I would certainly never desire them any harm. Why would I? I do not believe that every non-white person is my enemy. I do not hate some poor malnourished person from El Salvador trying to sneak into our country illegally. You and I, under the same circumstances, may do the same thing if we were in that situation. Yet I tell you, again, the other side of the coin, are we not slowly becoming a third world nation? There is a family of diabolical monsters who are taking from us and giving to others who do not share our beliefs or our or our values but I'll not hate them I'll protect when the time comes and I will keep my faith I told you many times that when I almost died for the first 24 hours I was taken care of by, by a black nurse 
There were doctors in the room, there were nurses, but this one black nurse worked harder than all of them. I could not have received better care from any person in that first 24 hours. My father had her there for a reason. She was black. I was locked up when I was a young man. I was a rogue lion. When I walked in to my incarceration, I was ready to take on the world. I met another rogue lion. He was black. He was from Washington, D.C. His name was Stacy. And for a few years, I trusted him with my life. I still think about him. I grew to respect him and care for him. I've not seen him in a couple decades, but I still think about him in a, in a good way. However, I would not want to live with him or around him. I just wouldn't. That's my choice. The Bible says that the Father appoints the time and place for us to be born. Therefore, I was born in the surroundings and my surroundings for a reason. It's the life that the Father ordained for me. I grew up surrounded by every race and color. Again, I'll tell you right now that at this point in my life, I prefer to be around white people who believe the same as I do concerning Jesus the Christ and the Bible. Make no mistakes about it, folks. I fully understand what Jesus Christ taught when he met the woman at the well. She was a mixed woman. She was half Israelite and half, and half Samarian. Now, the people of Judea at the time and the Judahites, uh, they hated the Samarians because they were mixed, even though many of them were mixed also. So here, here you had many of the Israelites living in Judea at the time who were mixed with the children of the devil. They were hating this woman because she was mixed. You see, hypocrisy has always been here. I understand the story of the Canaanite woman, the woman who Jesus Christ called a dog, but yet he healed her child. I understand the story of, of the Good Samaritan. Let me say, I understand this, and I understand the message that Jesus Christ was conveying to his children. However, I am loyal, and I do love Jacob Israel first and ab above all. This is true. So for many people who try to tell me that you're in the closet, you're a racist, man, I'm in, I'm in the closet about nothing. In fact, I'm open. The devil knows where I live. He knows who I am. Google knows everything about me. They know who I am and what I, and what I believe. The Almighty Father chose my family and chose me before this world to be his son. It is only natural to love the family that I come from. In our modern times, one of the biggest ways to attack someone is to call them racist. Even though the word racism has only been around for a little less than a hundred years. I mean, that's the truth about the word racism. It's another one of those isms words that was created by the devil. I've always seen the evil for what they are. They are the darkness searching for the darkness. They call me racist, yet they hate me for being white and of the flock of Jesus Christ. You see the hypocrisy here, man. It's, uh, it's unmatched. They are hypocrites, and these are the ones that we have been shown that are the devil's family. They project their hate, their insecurities onto you as to mask and conceal how diabolical and evil they truly are. These are the ones that Jesus Christ told us in Matthew chapter 15 and many other verses. All those whom my father did not plant would be rooted up and cast into the fire. These are also the tares in the parable of the wheat and the tares in Matthew chapter 13. Now, I know beyond any question, and most of you know it too, the devil has a family because our father taught us this. It roams this earth, and many folks will follow them, and they will pay for this. I do, I do acknowledge the world has come against my family, yet I know that it is my Father's will, and from this evil a glorious good will arise that cannot be comprehended. At this point in my life, folks, I choose to be around my own family, and I do not see nor do I care who, ca who gives a shit about it. This is how I feel as a man who loves Jesus Christ. How is it wrong to want to be around your own race, your religion, or the people that share your beliefs that you feel more comfortable around because you trust and love them. If when I was growing up with black people, many of my black friends were they were pro black. They would not date white women. They did not they believed in their cause and their movement. Man, I never disrespected it. And even now, why would I look down on it? They care about their own. It's natural to be like that. As much as our father loves us folks and I want you to hear me well. So I'm going to close. So when we speak about the word hate, I want you to remember this of why we should not hate. And I hope you, you hear me and you hear me well. 
As much as the Almighty Father loves us, and he most certainly does, he does not need us. You see, our Father can cancel us and create others. In fact, Jesus Christ told us that the Father could turn stones into, into children. We cannot allow ourselves to walk around aimlessly hating and being overwhelmed by the evil of this world. The truth is that our Father could very easily treat us with the same hate and contempt. So I urge you to hear me. None of us are worthy of our Father, and this is why he sent his only begotten son, Jesus the Christ, so that our transgressions may be blotted out. I am fully aware of what the Old Testament says about hate, so none of you are going to quote any, any scriptures that I have not already read. I know what the Old Testament says about hate, righteous hate, the seven things our father hates, the father's hatred for Esau while he was in the womb, and even doing away with the enemies of true Israel. I've read it all. I know what it means and whom it's referring to. I am fully aware that our family is under assault and we are being made to suffer by the devil and his children and it will get worse before it gets better. The war is against Jacob, Israel. The flood is against the children of the kingdom, Revelation chapter 12. You rebuke and mark your enemies and you stay away from them if possible. If the father wants me to love the devil and his family, the father will have to put it heavy on my heart to do so and then I would do it because I want to do whatever pleases Jesus the Christ. As of right now, I can, I can tell you I have no love for the devil. I have no love for his DNA, and I have no love for the evil spirits of Ephesians chapter 6. But if the Father wants me to love evil, I, I will do it. But as of right now, he's not told me to love evil, but he has told me to love the stranger that's different than me. And it's hard, and we have to learn how to do it, but it can be done. May the Father bless you all. May you love one another in the name of the most precious of all names, Jesus the Christ.